Okay, so Danny, what are we looking at today? Uh, we're looking at the uh, HP TouchMark today. This is a, uh, a touch compatible computer, kind of like, a, it's an all-in-one, kind of like the iMac, <laughs> but uh, you can use your fingers to touch the screen and gesture around and control different aspects on the, uh, the desktop there. So as far as the yeah. desktop is concerned, it looks like we've got video, photo, calendar. Right, and there. it's totally customizable too. So mm -hmm. like you can go into like this dock right here and bring programs up, oh my God. Or just open them. Or just open them too. You can just do that. As you can see, parts of this uh, this touch compatibility are not fully baked yet. Yeah, I, that's one thing I noticed, especially with the scroll. Uh, you kind of get this uh, almost liquidy smooth uh, response from an iPhone, whereas it's a little bit more jittery here. It's when it kind of jagged here, yeah, yeah, which I did not like. I did not find that to be. Uh, a very pleasant user experience. Yeah, and that's the funny thing is that's actually uh, HP's uh, interface too. This is the touch smart interface. You can actually back out to Vista and you still have uh, control of the cursor uh, via the touch screen. Um, but it's, it's you know, just like yeah. using a regular mouse. You're not really getting anything special. And you also have to deal with Vista too, which is never a pleasant experience. That's true. And although the TouchMart does have four gigs of RAM, this is running Vista Premium at 64 bits. So half of that is pretty much devoted to the operating system when you fire it up. And one thing that I liked about it is that it's got this nice 22 inch screen. Um, even though it's touch based, you don't really see a lot of the fingerprints either. Um, it's got a 500 gigabyte hard drive and it's also got a TV tuner in it as well. So what did you think of the TouchMart as like a home entertainment hub, like a living room type computer? Because that's obviously, that's what HP is going for. I don't know. Uh, actually, I don't think I'd put it in the living room. I think I'd probably put it in the kitchen. Just be, yeah, just because, really? well, for high definition content, look at the inputs and outputs. It has S-Video out mm -hmm. and a TV in. So say you have high definition content on it. So you have a high definition TV. Okay. Okay. You're going to want to pump that high definition content out from the computer onto your high definition set, right? Mm -hmm. Well, how are you going to do it with this? Okay, so no HDMI, no component. Okay, good point, okay, good point. Thank you. But with the Media Center remote, with the wireless, I mean, it's obvious with the speaker bar, too, that it's, it's made for like a 10-foot, almost like a, a television-like experience. Yeah. I don't think I would put this in the living room. I think this belongs in, this probably belongs in like an office. I think that's like the perfect space for it to... No, that be. makes sense. I, I, think, that. I think there's a lot of other computers on the market right now mm -hmm. that uh, can stream that high-definition content actually belong in the living room and I just don't, I think this, this computer falls short in a lot of those areas. So what um, would you give this as a rating? Uh, on a scale of say 1 to 10? 1 to 10? Or All right. blue balls, whatever you want uh, Blue to. balls. Hey, uh, how many I, blue balls would you give it? I'd probably give it 6 blue balls out of 10. 6 blue balls. Being it's a solid product but it just has some issues. Okay. I think uh, that the future generations of this product mm -hmm. are going to be better, especially when more competition comes out into the marketplace. So say Apple releases a uh, version mm -hmm. of this computer, I think it'll actually help. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it seems like HP has got the right idea. Other companies yeah. like the Dell One, they're obviously, you know, the all-in-one market is, is blowing up slowly, but uh, no one's really tackling the touchscreen. So it's great that, that HP wants to lead the charge as far as that's concerned, but you probably want to wait a while before you invest in something like that. I'd say third or fourth generation will be yeah. pretty good.